It seems like a massive blow to Russia's war against Ukraine. Ukraine's forces saying they've struck the flagship of Putin's Black Sea fleet, the guided missile cruiser Moskva. I spoke exclusively with Ukraine's national security advisor. Can you tell us what happened to the cruiser Moskva? It sank, he says jokingly. Russia admits the ship has indeed sunk, but has not yet acknowledged it was struck by Kiev. Instead, it says it was badly damaged by a fire and then sunk while being towed in stormy seas. The Moskva was involved in an out famous incident in a place called Snake Island when its crew told Ukrainian soldiers to surrender. This was the answer. The event has become so legendary in Ukraine, they've commemorated it with a special stamp. People at this post office in Kiev standing in line to get it. An important event happened yesterday. Our armed forces destroyed the aggressor's flagman ship. I think this event has to have a place in everyone's memory, this man says. The Ukrainians say they managed to hit the ship, which has formidable defense systems, with Ukrainian Neptune anti-ship missiles. The Moskva was still there near the Snake Island and was hit yesterday by two powerful Ukrainian-made missiles, he says. And then a warning to Putin. This is just the beginning, he says. There will be more than one Moskva. But the leadership in Kiev understands the next major battles will be different and possibly even more bloody as Russian tanks and artillery pour into the Donbas region. This horde has invaded our country and they think we will watch them destroy us, he says. But of course, we will respond by all means we have. Thanks to our international partners, we have interesting tools. The U.S. and its allies have already provided Ukraine with billions of dollars worth of weapons and are now moving to give Kiev heavier arms to counter Vladimir Putin's tank battalions. The National Security Advisor says Ukraine needs all the firepower it can get. I would never say that the Russian army is weak, he says, given the amount of weapons thrown there, the number of tanks, armored personnel carriers, planes and helicopters, I would not say this is a weak army. I would say these are strong Ukrainian soldiers who fight back such a powerful army. And these territorial defense soldiers in Kiev are vowing to keep up the fight, their elite troops gearing up to head east. We are absolutely prepared for this. We have both fighting spirit and fighting mood. We are patriots of our country and of course we will fight back the enemy, this soldier who goes by the name Vlad the Rifle tells me. And they vow, just like in Kiev, they will confront the Russian army once again.